find tangent normal lines. Normally, in these type of video lessons, I like to explain first what's going on. But in this case, we're going to simply learn by doing. We're going to go right to the first problem. Let f be the function defined by f of x equals 4x cubed minus 5x plus 3. Find the equation of the line tangent to the graph of f at x equals negative 1. And so this f is the function f of x equals 4x cubed minus 5x plus 3. And what we have here basically is a the graph of this function 4x cubed minus 5x plus 3. We know a couple things about it. We know that there is a y-intercept here at 3 and we know that since this is a positive cubic function the end behavior starts from negative infinity someplace and then goes up and crosses the y-intercept here at 3 and then continues its end behavior uh, as x approaches positive infinity is infinity. So anyway, uh, that's just a basic sketch. And so at x equals negative 1, we come over to negative 1 and at this point, the point of tangency, there is a tangent line here I've drawn in blue that we're going to with the point and slope be able to find the equation of. And so let's go over to the uh, find out what we need to find the equation of a line. We need a point and the x-coordinate for the point we're seeking is negative 1 and we need yet a y-coordinate which we soon shall find and we need a slope. And so let's go about finding this point, first of all, the y-coordinate. What we need to do is plug in negative 1 to this original function. So we say f of negative 1 is equal to 4 times negative 1 cubed minus 5 times negative 1 plus 3. And negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 will be negative 4. And then negative 5 times negative 1 is going to be plus 5. And then we just tack on the plus 3. And so we have f of negative 1 is equal to negative 4 plus 5 plus 3, negative 4 plus 5, that's going to be 1 plus 3, that's going to be 4. So our point of tangency is negative 1 comma 4. Uh, next we're going to find the slope, and to find the slope we will take the derivative of f of x, so we will call that f prime of x is equal to, uh, using the power rule, 3 times 4 is 12, x and x to the 3 minus 1 will be squared and then minus 5 minus the derivative of negative 5x will be minus 5 and so now we plug in negative 1 to the derivative function so f prime of negative 1 is equal to 12 times negative 1 squared minus 5, which equals 12, minus 5, which equals 7. So uh, we call this slope m sub t, and the subscript t meaning tangent. So the slope is going to be m sub t is equal to 7. Now, fortunately, we have something called a point-slope form, which will let us take this a point and slope, and that function is going to be y minus y sub 1 equals m times quantity x minus x sub 1. And so for this particular function, we have y minus y sub 1, which is going to be 4, equals m sub t, which is 7, 
times x minus negative 1, which will be plus 1. And so uh, that's going to be our function. That could suffice if we, if we decide to add 4 to both sides and get this uh, equation in uh, slope-intercept form. We would get y equals 7x. And then we have 7 here. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4. So plus 11. So this would be an equation for our tangent line. So uh, basically the steps need a point and a slope. Now we're going to go to a very similar type of problem, which is going to be find the equation of a line normal to g of x equals 9 over x cubed at x equals negative 3. Now this problem really starts out the same way, and for this problem we need the same things. We need, first of all, a point, and we need a slope. And to find that point, well, we already know the x-coordinate of that point, which is negative 3. We need to find yet the y-coordinate and just place that y-coordinate in here. And uh, as far as what this function looks like, Basically, we have this uh, 9 over x cubed. It's going to look qualitatively something like this. It'll look almost like the uh, reciprocal function, except reciprocal is x to the negative 1 over x, 1 over x. And this is going to be 1 over x cubed. So the function is going to look something like this. And at x equals negative 3, if we go to the left 3 here, we have a tangent to the function at this point, which I've drawn in blue. And the normal line, as opposed to the tangent line, is going to go through this point of tangency, but will be perpendicular to this tangent line. So we're crossing at a right angle. So this slope if we read it correctly, would be of m sub t is going to be negative something. And this m sub n, or, or uh, slope that's perpendicular, will be a positive number. Anyway, let's go ahead and find our y-coordinate. For our y-coordinate, we say that uh, g, uh, g of negative 3, is 9 over x, and that's going to be 9, g of negative 3, equals 9 over negative 3, cubed. Well, uh, 3 cubed is 27, and this is going to be negative, so we're going to have 9 over negative 27, which is going to be equal to negative 1 third. So negative 1 third is going to be our y-coordinate of the point that we are using. So that's negative 3 comma negative 1 third. Now to go about finding the slope, we're going to take the derivative of the function g of x, but first we're going to rewrite this function g of x as instead of 9 over x cubed, we're going to make bring that x up in the numerator and make this 9 x to the negative 3 power. It's what we call what I call my calculus friendly form. And so g prime of x is going to be we take this negative 3 and multiply it by uh, 9. So we'll get negative 27. And that'll be x to the negative 3 minus 1. So it'll be x to the negative 4 power, which is going to be equal to negative 27 over x to the 4th power. So that's going to be g prime of x. Next, we want to find g prime of negative 3. So we take g prime of negative 3, and we will just substitute in negative 3 wherever we see x, 
And so we still maintain this negative 27 on the numerator, and the negative 3 goes down here, and that will be to the fourth power. Well, we maintain the negative 27 in the numerator. In the denominator, negative 3 cubed, or, or 3 cubed rather, is going to be 27, and 27 times 3, one more time, will be 81. And with a, uh, to the fourth power, this negative times a negative times a negative times a negative, that will be positive. So we have negative 27 over 81, which simplifies to negative one-third. And this is our slope m sub t, the slope of the tangent line. But the slope of the normal line is the negative reciprocal of the tangent line. And so we could do this a number of ways. We could uh, just, just kind of flip this upside down, taking the reciprocal, negative reciprocal. So we say m sub n for the slope of the normal line is going to be positive 3. Or we could look at it as uh, reciprocal we have uh, uh, m sub n equals negative 1 over m sub t, which is going to be negative 1 over negative 1 third, which again equals 3. So that's another way of looking at it. But anyway, we're going to bring up this slope right here, m sub n is equal to 3. Now, uh, using the point-slope form, we're going to have, again, y minus y sub 1 equals m times 20 x minus x sub 1. And using these points here, we have y minus negative 1 third, so that would be plus 1 third, equals m sub n, which is 3, times x minus negative 3 which will end up being plus 3. And simplifying, we're going to have, uh, um, we're going to have 3x plus 9, so y plus 1 third. And if, to solve for y, to get this in slope-intercept form, we would take, subtract 1 third from each side. I'm going to just box in the point-slope form right here red. And this is going to look very much like we envisioned it beforehand. So anyway, this is just a, a video lesson on finding the equation of a tangent line and a normal line. And uh, thanks for viewing.